Let me ask you something. Have you ever felt like you're doing everything right? You're working out, getting decent sleep, maybe even watching your diet, but something's off. You feel sluggish, your drive is low, gains are slower than they should be, and your motivation, practically non-existent. Here's the truth that nobody's talking about. You might be starving your body of key micronutrients it needs to actually produce testosterone, not calories, not macros. I'm talking about the vitamins and minerals that operate behind the scenes, running the hormonal machinery of your body. These micronutrients are like the spark plugs in your car's engine. Without them, the engine doesn't start. And for your testosterone production, no spark plugs, no fire. So if you're tired or feeling tired, if you want to ignite your energy, your strength, your focus and your masculinity, it's time to pay attention to what you've been ignoring. Let's get into it. The micronutrient testosterone link most men miss. Let's start with a fundamental truth. Testosterone is not made in isolation. Your body needs raw materials to build hormones, just like a factory needs parts. And those raw materials are micronutrients. Here's how it works. Your brain, specifically the hypothalamus, signals your pituitary gland to tell your testes to start making testosterone. That signal is called luteinizing hormone. But for that signal to be clear, consistent and strong, your body needs things like vitamin B6, magnesium and zinc. If you're low on those, that signal gets fuzzy, weak and even if your testes are ready, they're not getting the green light to produce. Even worse, if you're deficient in antioxidants like selenium or vitamin E, your latex cells, the actual cells in your testes that make testosterone, start to break down under oxidative stress. It's like trying to run a factory while the machinery is rusting. So when men say my testosterone feels low lately, they're often describing a body that's literally missing the parts it needs to function. This is why hormone optimization doesn't start with drugs. It starts with nutrition and not just what you eat, but how well your body absorbs and uses it. The essential vitamins that drive testosterone. Let's break down the key vitamins one by one. Number one, vitamin A, the forgotten hormone regulator. You might know vitamin A for eye health, but did you know it directly impacts sperm production and testosterone? A 2013 study in the Journal of Clinical Biochemistry and Nutrition found that vitamin A deficiency led to impaired testicular function and reduced androgen production. It's literally essential to the hormonal architecture of a man's body. Best sources, Beef liver is number one, but you can also get pro-vitamin A, beta-carotene from carrots, sweet potatoes, and spinach. Just remember, your body converts beta-carotene to vitamin A inefficiently, so animal sources are more potent. Two, the B vitamins, the energy and androgen complex. These aren't just energy vitamins. They are deeply involved in testosterone metabolism. B6, crucial for androgen receptor sensitivity. If you're deficient, your testosterone can't dock at the right cellular sites. B12, essential for red blood cell production and nervous system function. Low B12 means low energy and poor testosterone signaling. Sources, B6 from turkey, potatoes, bananas. B12 from clams, liver, beef and eggs. Three, vitamin D, the sunlight steroid. This one is huge. Vitamin D behaves more like a hormone than a vitamin. It's involved in over 1000 gene expressions including the ones that trigger testosterone production. In a landmark study from 2011, Hormone and Metabolic Research, men given 3,000 IUs of vitamin D daily for a year saw a significant increase in total testosterone compared to the placebo group. Best source, sunlight. But if you live in a cloudy climate or work indoors, consider supplementing. Want your blood level around 40 to 60 nanogram per milliliter? for optimal hormonal health. Four, vitamin E, the testicular shield. Vitamin E is your antioxidant defense system. It protects the testes and the sperm producing cells inside them. Oxidative stress is one of the main causes of testicular atrophy and low sperm count. Vitamin E counters that. You'll find it in sunflower seeds, almonds, and avocados. Five, vitamin K2, the testosterone partner. K2 works alongside vitamin D to regulate calcium in the body and improve hormonal health balance. It's also been linked to increased testicular function and sperm quality. Best sources, grass-fed butter, 
a cheese and natto fermented soy if you're on a carnivore or ketogenic diet you're likely getting some k2 already the key minerals that fuel testosterone one zinc the testosterone gatekeeper this one is non-negotiable zinc is one of those nutrients that doesn't just support testosterone it's actually required for its creation without it your Leydig cells, the ones in your testes responsible for producing testosterone, literally can't function properly. Zinc is a cofactor in over 3,000 enzymatic reactions in the body, and several of those are involved directly in androgen metabolism, the system that manages hormones like testosterone and DHT. If your zinc levels are low, it's like trying to build a house with no bricks. You're missing one of the fundamental raw materials. Let's talk science. One of the most referenced studies in this space is from Wayne State University in 1996. Researchers had young men follow a diet intentionally low in zinc. Their testosterone levels almost doubled. That's a huge deal, especially because older men usually have lower baseline testosterone and less responsive testicular output. Another 2007 study from Iran looked at elite wrestlers and found that just four weeks of zinc supplementation 220 milligrams zinc sulfate daily, increased free testosterone and total testosterone, especially when paired with training stress. It also improved antioxidant status, meaning you're getting a hormone and cellular health boost in one go. But it's not just about the science, it's about where you get it. You've probably heard that oysters are the king of zinc rich foods, and that's 100% accurate. Just six medium oysters can give you over 300% of your daily zinc needs. It's a testosterone powerhouse in a shell, but let's be honest, most of us are eating oysters daily. That's where beef comes in, especially grass-fed beef. It's not just high in zinc, it's also rich in other key T-boosting nutrients like iron, B12, and saturated fat. Yes, your body needs healthy amounts of it to make hormones. A 200 gram steak can provide around 10 to 12 milligrams of zinc, which is about 100% of your recommended daily intake. If you're training hard, sweating a lot, or dealing with high stress, your zinc needs might need to actually be higher than average. Why? Because zinc is lost through sweat and depleted under chronic stress. Combine that with a modern diet low in organ meats and seafood, and it's easy to see why so many men unknowingly fall short. Here's a quick tip. If you're considering supplementation, look for zinc piclinate or zinc citrate. These forms are well absorbed and less likely to cause nausea than zinc sulfate. The most effective testosterone support stacks contain 15 to 30 milligrams of elemental zinc per serving. Don't go way beyond that unless you're working with a doctor or dietitian. Two, magnesium, the testosterone multiplier. Magnesium is involved in over 300 biochemical reactions. One of them, freeing up testosterone from sex hormone binding globulin, SHBG. A 2011 study in the biological trace element research show that magnesium supplementation increased both free and total testosterone in sedentary men and athletes. Sources, dark leaf greens, pumpkin seeds and dark chocolate. Yes, good quality dark chocolate is testosterone friendly. 3. Selenium, the antioxidant powerhouse. This trace mineral is critical for sperm quality and testosterone preservation. It works in tandem with vitamin E to protect against testicular damage. One or two Brazil nuts a day gives you all the selenium you need, just don't overdo it. Too much can be toxic. 4. Boron, the underestimated booster. Boron helps reduce SHBG, which binds to testosterone and makes it inactive allowing more free tea to circulate. A study from 2011 found that after just one week of 10 milligrams of boron supplementation, participants saw increases in free testosterone and reduction in estrogen. Sources, raisins, almonds, prunes, and avocados. Four, micronutrient boosting foods you should eat every week. Here's your weekly grocery checklist to maximize micronutrient intake. Beef liver. With that, you're getting vitamin A, B12, and iron. Eggs. With that, you're getting vitamin B5, D, and cholesterol for hormone synthesis. Oysters. In those, you're getting a massive zinc hit. Pumpkin seeds. You're getting magnesium and zinc. Brazil nuts. You're bagging selenium. Spinach and kale. You're topping up your magnesium and vitamin K. Avocados. You're bagging boron, potassium, and healthy fats. Dark chocolate. Ideally, a 70% plus strength. 
you're getting your magnesium and flavonoids. How to maximize absorption and bioavailability. Eating the right food is step one. Step two, absorbing it properly. Fat soluble vitamins A, D, E, K require dietary fat to absorb. Don't eat your spinach dry, drill some olive oil on it. Soak legumes and nuts to reduce phytates that block mineral absorption. Don't overconsume fiber. If your diet is already low in fat soluble nutrients, it can bind to minerals and reduce absorption. Take breaks from alcohol and processed foods. They strip micronutrients and irritate the gut. What about supplements? If your diet is rock solid, you might not need supplements. But let's be real, most men are getting everything they need daily. Here's when supplements help. Vitamin D3 with K2 if you don't get sun. Zinc, 10 to 30 milligrams a day if your diet is low in red meat or shellfish. Magnesium glycinate for better absorption without GI issues. Boron, 3 to 10 milligrams a day to unbind testosterone and lower estrogen. Avoid multivitamins with poor absorption forms like magnesium oxide or synthetic vitamin E, D alpha trophocol. Go for high bioavailability versions. Stack your nutrients like you stack your gains. You wouldn't hit the gym once and expect a six pack. Same with micronutrients. They need to be part of your daily life. Think of it like this. Train your hormones in the kitchen. Get these micronutrients in consistently and you'll start to feel the difference. More morning wood, sharper mental clarity, more drive to dominate your day. This is your blueprint, your daily system. You now have the tools fuel up and unlock your manhood naturally. If this video opened your eyes to the power of micronutrients, hit that like button and subscribe. Drop a comment below, what's one food you add into your next grocery run? And if you want more deep dives like this covering everything from testosterone and mindset and recovery, remember, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, stay sharp, stay strong and stay primal. See you in the next one.